Hey everybody, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today we're going to be discussing myocardial infarction, also known as heart attack or MIs. And we're also going to discuss why it happens, risk factors, treatments, how it's diagnosed, and we're also going to discuss a few symptoms. Myocardial infarction is also known as heart attack and it can happen due to coronary artery disease. Now the coronary artery is going to be the artery that supplies the heart itself with blood and oxygen. But when a fatty material called plaque begins to build up in this artery, it will eventually cause the coronary artery to burst and rupture. This clot will then start to block blood flow to the myocardium, which is the heart muscle. As a result, this muscle tissue in the heart will begin to die or infarct. Now when the cells in this muscle tissue die, they are replaced with scar tissue. This is because muscle cells can't undergo the process of mitosis. So this will add a huge workload on the muscle cells that are still healthy, putting more pressure on the heart, causing it to work harder than it normally should. Symptoms of coronary artery disease can be anything from chest pain, referred pain along the left arm, along the left side of the neck, shortness of breath, sweating, anxiety, nausea, or vomiting. Now women on the other hand may experience jaw pain, pain in the back, arm pain instead of chest pain. So gender can have an impact on which symptoms you experience. So some factors that may put you at risk for coronary artery disease or MIs are smoking, genetics, coronary artery disease can be hereditary in your family, obesity, poorly controlled diabetes, high blood pressure, high levels of certain lipids in the blood, being a male over the age of 40 or being a woman over the age of 50. Now there are treatments for coronary artery disease to prevent myocardial infarction or heart attack such as exercise, change in diet, or medication. Now, invasive treatments can be suggested if these moderate treatments fail to succeed. Now, there is coronary angioplasty, and this is a procedure where an inflated balloon is put into a blood vessel. A stent, which is a wide tube of mesh, is inserted into the vessel to widen it or stretch it. Now, coronary artery bypass grafting is a more invasive treatment than coronary angioplasty. And this is a procedure where another blood vessel is transplanted onto the diseased coronary artery. This allows blood to go around the blockage by giving blood an alternate direction to travel. Coronary artery disease is diagnosed through angiography, angio meaning blood vessel, graphy meaning image. And this is a technique where x-rays of blood vessels are used to observe blood flow. And on the right, I have an example of what an angiography x-ray would look like. Thank you guys once again so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and donate if you want. I'm not forcing you. And thanks again for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time.